it stands losing streak on fears of excess supply. Inventories in the U.S. rose a larger than expected 3.1 million barrels in the last week, the EIA reports. When we have a lot of oil in, in supply, that means the demand is kind of low, which is going to make oil uh, not so good as an investment. U.S. crude oil prices slid for the seventh consecutive session Wednesday, which was yesterday, hitting a nearly two-month low after weekly inventory figures reignited worries about the supply gut. All right, so we have a lot of oil in supply, driving oil down because the demand is not nearly as high. When the demand is high, oil prices will go up because people are gonna have to pay more for oil, right? So let's go take a look at oil, and I'm gonna use the USO, or the US Oil Fund ETF. Again, because it's an ETF, price and value will be the same. RV and RS will be uh, the same as well. But look at the RT, the short-term price trend of oil is below the value of one. Oil is in a downtrend as a whole. Let's right-click on the stock for USO, view the graph, ta-da, look at the movement of oil. So if I'm looking, I'm going to put this on a three-month graph. If I'm investing in oil stocks, I need to be very wary of what's going on. Now, I do have a level of support on oil on the USO sitting at about the level of $10.49. So how do I get that level? What I'm looking for is the last level of a low and using that as a level of support. Look at oil quickly moving down to that level in that zone. Now, this is a red candle because it's lower than the previous day's close, but it's an open candle, which means oil today gapped down from the uh, open this morning and then started rising up. I call this a bullish bearish candle. It's bearish because the price is currently lower than the previous day's close, but because it's open, it's risen since the open of the day. This could be a bearish, uh, sorry, a bullish signal, but not ready to pull the trigger on any new oil stocks just quite yet. I'm using fast moving averages, a three and an eight exponential moving average, and I can get in at the right time. Let me go put on a dateline. Was that a good opportunity to get in oil at least for a couple of days and then get out? Was that a good opportunity to get in oil? Ah, that went flat soon after. All right, but look at these opportunities to get out of the oil stocks when the three and the eight cross. Would you rather get out when they cross or ride oil to the downside? And look at this, it stayed that way, stayed that way until it rose, and then it quickly went back down. And how about this? If you didn't have any, uh, moving averages or any stops in place, you would have ridden an oil stock all the way down to here. That's not what you want to do. And that's why from a trading perspective, we look at moving averages such as a three and an eight to get you in and out pretty quickly. So oil prices are sliding. Oil stocks are getting feeling the effect. DWT, which is a, a contra ETF for oil, is doing very well. Drip, which is a contra ETF for oil, is doing very well as well. But we can see that oil as a whole is falling, and that's because we have a lot of inventory right now. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the software or would like to refresh your information about the software, click on this Getting Started video right here. Thanks to all of your input, here's a YouTube video that we think would be perfect for you. Click right here. If nothing else, folks, just hit the subscribe button right here.